Connecticut, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Chips Unnamed Local Band Show. Tonight we're down here in Waterbury at the practice for the Connecticut Roller Girls getting revved up for their next battle on April 16th. Check it out. In this episode, we're going down to New Haven to meet up with an awesome band called The Proud Flesh. We're going to Shelton to meet up with a singer-songwriter named Liz Galorn. And we're going to Wallingford to meet up with Iron Hand. Check it out. Connecticut, what's going on? We are here in the home practice space, possibly recording studio, of Liz Galorn, one of the best singer-songwriters in the state of Connecticut. Liz, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. Let's talk about the music real quick. I hear folk, I hear old country, I hear all sorts of stuff, really. Where does it all come from? Pretty much everything my parents listened to when I was a kid, Beatles, Neil Young, Elton John, um, <laughs> influences are both good and bad, you know, but I listen to a lot of country and a lot of folk, a lot of jazz. It's really all over the place. Classic rock. I jam out to Cream in the dark room during my day job. Nice. We like Cream. We don't like Ellen John either. Don't worry about it. So I do like, however, how you refer to yourself as cowgirl, both in your email and online. So do you consider yourself a modern day cowgirl? In a way, although I'm a poser because I've only been on a horse once, <laughs> but uh, I see the cowgirl as a symbol of freedom, basically. Okay. So, freedom in life in general, or freedom within your music, or all of the above? All of the above. Yep. Freedom. I like that. And you need to get on the mechanical bull at uh, oh, no. Illusions and Wolcott. <laughs> then you're a real cowgirl. So let's talk about plans for the music coming up, new material you're writing and recording. Absolutely. I've got a lot of new stuff that I've got to record. So that's this year. That you got to record. So have we have, we have a studio lined up and ready to go or not yet? I'm still debating whether to do it at home or go into a pro studio. Yeah. As we've seen on this show time and time again, kids, some of the best music in this state comes out of living rooms, bathrooms, kitchens. Doesn't necessarily come out of a recording studio. So let's talk about plans then for you. You mentioned recording, mm -hmm. um, shows coming up, possible tour in the works. What do you got going on? I've got a show April 16th at Jerosa Records in Brookfield uh, for Record Store Day. So, and I'll have goodies with me that won't be available elsewhere. You heard it here first. Check it out, Jerosa Records. You're gonna play a song for us? Sure. And what song are you gonna play for us? The song is called Hard Corners. Hard Corners website we can send them to? Liscalorn.com. Check it out.
Once again, everybody, we're down here in Waterbury at the CT Roller Girls practice as they're getting revved up for their next bout. On April 16th, the Yankee Brutals will be at the CT Sports Complex. So make sure you check it out. Go to their website, ctrollerderby.com, for more info. Coming up after the break, we're going down to New Haven to meet up with a band that gave us a full concert in their living room, The Proud Flesh. Check it out.